And hi again, everyone. I'm Two Works for You Storm Shield Chief Meteorologist Brett Anthony out here live just to the north and west of Bristow, where we had the tornado uh, affect this area yesterday. And we were talking about the National Weather Service giving an EF1 rating with winds at about 100, 110 miles an hour. How do they know that? Well, it's based on a damage estimate. And if you look here at this tree behind me, clearly those trees are snapped. So that would tell us it's about 80 to 90 miles an hour. Then you have some roof damage here, peeling the metal back. And that could have been maybe 90 to 100 miles an hour. And then just up the way at that animal shelter, you can see there's more structural damage to the back end of that building. So that might be where there's 110 to 100, 100 to 110 mile an hour wind damage. So anywhere from 90 to about 110 right in this area here. And we're standing right in the path of the tornado as it moves right on over top of Bristow. All right, here are the latest watches we have in effect here this afternoon. We have a tornado watch in effect until 9 o'clock for areas up to the north. Checking out Storm Shield radar, and you can look at the radar as I look at the Storm Shield app, and nothing popping right now outside. All right, let's go ahead with Future Track, put it into motion, and as we go through time, we're going to notice something. We're quiet tonight, and then I want you to look at tomorrow. Tomorrow's going to be an interesting day. We'll see how this sets up. At least this in house computer model is keying on a boundary up to the north and east in northeastern Oklahoma, and there may be several rounds of showers and thunderstorms that fire along that. And then as we go ahead into Friday, it looks like most of the activity tries to work its way south and eastward. So the severe outlook for tomorrow is all across green country with an enhanced risk in western Oklahoma. And then as we look at Friday, the risk sinks down over southern Oklahoma. Let's hope it plays out that way. Of course, more rainfall would come with those thunderstorms, not that we necessarily need some. Take a look at our rainfall totals as we go back over the last 24 hours, and you're looking at rainfall amounts that exceeded four inches in some areas. So very, very rainy, stormy night. All right, currently outside, it is warm, it is muggy, and we've got a nice breeze out of the south. Here's the forecast for tonight. It should remain mostly cloudy. There could be an isolated thunderstorm up to the north. The overnight lows, upper 60s to low 70s. Take a look at some of those morning lows around green country. You'll notice if we're going to fall into the 60s, it'll be up to the north. Down to the south, it will be in the 70s. Day planner for tomorrow. I think it's dry in the morning, clouds on the increase, high temperatures reach the middle 80s, and then we've got a chance for those scattered afternoon showers and thunderstorms. Tomorrow's high temperatures should range in the middle 80s. Once again, 85 in Tulsa. We could be a little warmer down to the south and perhaps just a little cooler out to the north and to the northeast. Here's the seven-day forecast. 80 on Friday with a 40% chance for scattered showers and thunderstorms. 83 on Saturday, 30% chance of rain. 83 on Sunday, 20% chance of rain. Memorial Day, looks like the rain chances are ratcheting back up with a high temperature around 80. Bottom line over the Memorial Day weekend, uh, don't cancel any plans, but I'd have a place to go in case we do have some thunderstorms firing back up. But we'll have the latest on the severe weather threat and that tornado watch tonight coming up at 6 o'clock. Brian? All right, thank you, Brett. You saw.